Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Stetera. If you'd also like to learn how this is played, then I have a separate video for that. Keep in mind that this is a prototype. Stetera is coming to GameFound in just a few days after the release of this video. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look. First, let's get it ready to play. This game comes with a set of scales. Here they are. Make sure they're fully assembled before you start the game. You will always need this. Next, before you do anything else, you have to pick a story. It depends on how many players there are. I'll be setting it up for three players. So I can go for this story, Banishing the Gods. All right. Now that I know we'll be playing this scenario, I know what the game board is going to look like. The instructions are here. It says the number six, two, four need to be at the top here. Here's the board with the number six. I unfold it and place it on the table. Next to the six comes board number Two. Keep in mind that the number two has to be up here next to the board six. Don't place it any way you like. And finally, board number four next to the two. This is the way the board is supposed to be for this particular game. So now you could turn it if you like. I'll put it like this. The scales go in the middle, each scale facing one of the gods, because both gods are going to be in the game. That's what it says in the instructions to this story here. In this one, you play with the dragons, the Faroon, and the fawns. The blue chompas will have to wait for another game. They can stay in the box. So, we have the red dragon gods. There's this red player board. I'll take that. And this disc with the leaf on it, the sanctuary, it goes on my player board here. The arrow pointing to the left side of this. I get my red player pieces, some dragons and some pieces to claim a temple as yours. The last is this deck of red cards. The player who is seated at the opposite side of the scales will be the other gods, the Faroon. They get this yellow player board and this sanctuary to go with the cog on it that goes at the top. The, with the arrow facing up. Some yellow player figures, these ones. And some yellow cards. The player who is on one of the other sides of the game board will be the people, the Staterans. In this case, the green fawns. So, of course, a green player board and green player pieces, but a lot more than the other players. Here they are. Some people and some temples. The green fawn player gets two decks of green cards, one with a regular back, and the other one shows a spear on it. Keep the decks separated. According to the instruction of this particular story, each god gets one temple. So one for the dragons here, and one for the Faroon here. They come out of the fawn's supply. The dragons use their token to claim this one is theirs. And the Faroon put a yellow token over the temple. So, now we have everything on the table, 
it's time to finish the setup with the standard instructions that go for each game, no matter which story you're playing. There are a few more cards, these ones that show the same artwork at the top as the top of the scales, because that is where they go. Shuffle the cards, the event cards, and then place the deck face down on top. The players who are the people, the Staturans, so player green and player blue in another game where that one is included, they take out the cards with the weapons on it and choose two to keep in hand. The rest goes to the side as a personal discard pile. The player who is the dragons is good to go. The player who is the Faroon can choose one of these yellow cards and already implement the benefits that are written on it. The setup is done. The last thing before you start the game is read the actual story you're about to play and read the winning conditions and rule adjustments. They are all written on the story page. Keep it on the table in case you need to check it again. And that's it. This is how you set up a game of Statera. If you want to know what happens next, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.